All right, welcome to the SAM project 1A. This is for CAPL 1023. This is our first SAM project. So you should have downloaded the both the data file, which will have this tag on it, scwsc underscore wd19 underscore 1A underscore your name underscore 1. Um, so the first, and then you should also have downloaded a copy of the directions as well. They say Avery University at the top of them. First thing we're going to do uh, when we are working with SAM projects, um, there's a specific file naming convention we have to use, and it's basically um, taking this name that they've given us and changing this final one to a two. So we're just going to go ahead and do a file, save as, and you can go ahead and save it to wherever you keep track of your um, keep track of your assignment submissions. Module one, and I'm just going to go ahead and create a SAM projects folder, and then I'm going to change this underscore two. All right. So now we're ready to go ahead and get started. So the first step says you work in the financial aid department of Avery University and are creating a flyer to advertise upcoming financial aid workshops. All right, so we're going to go ahead and change the document theme to office. So let's go ahead and go to our design tab, themes, office and then change the document theme color to red. So in our still learned our design tab, colors, we're going to change this to red. All right. Step number two says change the margins to narrow to fit more content on the page. Our layout tab, margins, and narrow. All right. The third step is make the picture of the students more eye-catching and suitable for the layout by resizing the picture to 2.5 high. So we're just going to select the picture in our Picture Tools Format tab. Sizing Group, we're going to change the size to 2.5 high. Then I'll change it to 3.75 wide. Again, we don't, have to, we don't have to do this. It'll keep it in proportion. So a height of 2.5, which we've done. We are also going to apply the center shadow rectangle picture style. So that's going to be in our quick styles. And the center shadow rectangle, I believe, is right here. So for me, it's the third row, third column. Center shadow rectangle, we're going to select that. All right, and then the next step is apply the glow five point brown accent six picture effect so we're going to go up to our picture effects glow and this is an accent five color we want glow five point brown accent six right so right here the first row sixth column glow five point brown accent color six all right the next step says draw attention to the flyer's headline, Financial Aid Workshop, as follows. So here's our headline right down here. I'm going to select that text. And it says change the paragraph spacing before to 12 point and after to 6 point. So I'm going to go to my layout tab. My spacing before is, and after is right here. I'm just going to before, two clicks up after one click down again those go up in the spacings go up in increments of six points so if you had an eight or a ten you'd have to type it in but ours are going to go up in a in a good number for us All right the next item is change the case to uppercase and remember again this is not all caps this is uppercase so we're going to go to our home tab our font group here's our change case option we're just going to select that drop down and select uppercase. And then changing the font to 28 point. All right, so let's move on to step number five. Copy the text Avery University from the heading paragraph. So from our heading paragraph, 
right up here. We're going to take Avery University. And I'm going to copy it. And then it says, paste it in the blank paragraph after the financial aid workshops. So after the financial aid workshops, let's turn on our formatting mark so we can see it right here. I'm going to bring my insertion point down here and paste. It doesn't tell us to paste with matching formatting or merging formatting or anything. It just tells us to copy it and paste it. So that's what we've done. All right, the next item, step six, bold the date, Monday, May 8th, so it matches the other ones. So Monday, May 8th, bold. And then step seven, create a bulleted list beginning with the paragraph Monday, May 8th, and ending with the paragraph individual meetings. So right here, bulleted list. All right, the next step eight, add the words requesting the to the paragraph beginning the workshops present guidelines for following types of financial aid right here and so the new sentence is going to read the workshops present guidelines for requesting the space following types of financial aid. And remember, make sure you put it in the right spot and you spell the words correctly, or you're going to lose one point for that item. And that one point is going to be equivalent to 10% of your grade. So one spelling error is worth 10% of your grade. So make sure you make sure you take care to spell correctly. All right, step number nine says italicize the text often with interest. And so that is going to be uh, right here. So loans, money paid back, blah, 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 often with interest. And I'm going to make sure I don't want to include any errant uh, spaces or anything like that, just so I don't get one wrong. <clears throat> All right, step 10 says, delete the unnecessary sentence. Jobs are usually available on campus. So that's at the end of work study. I'm just going to delete that sentence, including the extra space after the end of that last sentence. All right, step number 11. Emphasize the workshop list from the paragraph beginning grants to the one beginning work study. So grants to work study. We're going to emphasize that. We're going to change the text to trebuchet MS. So let's go ahead and I can begin typing trebuchet. There, trebuchet MS is at the bottom. And I'm also changing the font color to dark red, accent 1, darker 25%. So dark red, accent 1, darker 25%. All right, that's step number 11. Step number 12 it says draw attention to the web address in the paragraph beginning complete financial aid as follows. Remove the hyperlink, so I'm just going to right click, remove hyperlink, and then apply the text effect orange accent 2 in the outline section. So we're going to select this text here. So www to edu, we're going to come up to our text effects and typography, and we're going to go to the outline group, and then we want orange accent 2. All right, 
Step 13. Format the paragraph beginning Complete Financial Aid Guidelines. So Complete Financial Aid Guidelines. We're going to center this paragraph and then apply the paragraph shading. So our shading is going to be right over here. Paragraph shading. Dark red accent 1. So here's our dark red accent 1 and we're going to choose the lighter 80% option. All right, step 14 it says insert a picture as follows. Inserting the picture to balance our layout, we're going to go up to our, it says uh, in the blank line at the bottom of the page, so right down here, we're going to go ahead and insert the support graduation picture. So insert pictures. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my flash drive where I've saved it. Data files, module one, SAM, and this is the graduation. Insert it. There's the picture. It says resize it to a height of one inch. So I'm just going to click this down a few times. I'm going to go ahead and save my progress. Step 15 says finish the flyer by adding a page border. So we're going to go to our design tab, page borders, and it says select the dotted line page border, the second border in the style list. So here's our page border. There's our dotted line. We're going to change the color to brown accent 5. So brown accent 5 and then change the width of the border to one and a half points. One and a half points. And that is the final step. So I can deselect that and turn off my formatting marks and take a look at page one page and this is what your document should look like. Go ahead and save that progress and submit.